Kilimuchetu, our farming. Precap Farm is one of the thriving farms in Sherwood Block, Kwekwe, in the Midlands province. The farm is involved in mixed farming, which includes horticulture, fisheries and animal husbandry. The main crop at the farm is maize, contributing immensely to the country's food security. Precap farm manager Patrick Mnangagwa talks about their maize production levels. Ndori mama hybrid varieties from Sitco. Is 659727. Why two varieties after um, doing some experiments here. I observed between these two varieties is in my yields. Because that's, that's the most important thing. Because when my yields, they need a profit. For instance, if your break even is three and a half tons, then you need any, any surplus from that is your profit. So these two varieties do not yield above 10 tons. Therefore, if I say, for instance, my four tons, my cost, then six tons becomes our profit. So I would prefer to do seven to seven alone. But in the end, you check a time of planting. So all early planted uh, lanes, the guys are seven to seven. Then uh, later on, time you had to find in the Kuskamuna November, the Vandazo Jaraji, six five nine. Why? Without um, uh, harvesting time, if I can. So, the 727 is a long season variety. It's a medium season variety. Uh, therefore, maize crop, the 500 hectares, and she has harvest at the same time. No, but that's our wheat on time. Pesa pane soya, pesa pane shibagu. Atina kumbu ita <coughs> any land preparation. <coughs> Zero to uh, planting. Takashan sama mono sem planters from farming. So what we did, ta avesta wheat ne bale. Taka beila. Kubela kate chita te jitra kuti ma mshangaya asa wandisa so that planta iku pinda so kanaka mo. Then, Tino calibrate my machines, my plant. To calibrate a plant, I would have seed spacing at the good. You are up to standard. If you are happy with that, then we calibrate our fertilizer as well. To a traffic workshop. Then to the materials, struggle space at nature, my run. Since we, we are planting in October, we should peace, I remember, and if we really peace, it will be very hot. And the ground will be, will be too dry. So what we do, we irrigate. Why? We are cooling the ground. Number one. Uh, why cooling the ground? It's seed, we believe, with seed, we can pin them dry, hot ground. Therefore, germination in the were compromised. It's not what you can germinate because you know, you know, dry our seeds of the embryo in the So we cool our ground to make sure that uh, we preserve and protect our seed. Again, Patoya Kumund, like Minda Edutos of the year round, we know the diameter. So we put seed and fertilizer, we one run. 
Tot for instance, munda only diameter 800 meters. So to know a seed in the fertilizer is 800 meters. Plant up to end an eye. Tiff farm but it ever must so check out me with the food sticker. It will be a shaganaka fertilizer depth. It is only my tip measure and my rule that you check and it needs spacing it. Like our in our case, plant at a shan say eight row plant. So we inspect all the eight lines. Behavior of this look in the why do we do that? We want uniformity in terms of emergence. Panobuda, when, we, when I say emergence, Panobuda, yeah. So it's often a kumerelan. Can I drip a same depth? It's no responder, kumfurea to kudera. It's no responder, it's very uniform. Then it's all image. So I can find After planting, we inspect because that is zero till. Mune mune uno gora mune mune to ma green plants. Ma weeds can inga mera wali mo. So you know, mix some bomb spray. Ma chemicals e do around up atrazine, metalaclo. These are pre-emergent herbicides. Only round up iri. We post images, but if you don't suppose a green, a green plants are in mood, then it no again it no tanga taisa irrigation. To shunga ushande, unufana ushande open a moisture. We always open a wood. Also be effective. No one needs an animal suppliers, but the one who is in conditions are right. So we irrigate to can a piece of steric. We wake up. 3, 3 a.m. Boom spray repeat. By this time, my living and in Gabuda mood. So, the spray is very cool, the spray is wet ground, therefore, it's going to be a shan. To know some fertilizers, what we do, uh, like, I am a crop seeder. And that's the reason I So, in the lab. So, we are recommended to We are recommended to have what is in our soil and what what are deficiencies. Then, not only that, the pHs. So, in our case, we were recommended to put 1,000 kgs of gypsum only. Uh, then, take a gypsum before planting. Take a go spin that guy broadcast. So, take a plant them in the gypsum. Then, my fertilizers, no matter how much some maize fed at uh, 400 kgs per hectare, it will be recommended for 727. We were recommended to do that. Then, about 350 for six. Uh, six series varieties. Kilimu Chetu, our farming. Kilimu Chetu, our farming. There is thriving aquaculture, and the farm draws water from the project from the nearby Sabakwe Dam. The fish project, as you can see, there is a big dam here. This uh, we it's a water harvesting board, which was man-made, which we did in 2018. So if you calculate the number of years up to now, it's now five years in existence. So we have the breed that we have. We have uh, fish fingers and we have brim. Yes. So what we do, we feed them. We, we, we buy feed and we give them um, grower, fish growers which we give every day and uh, you can see the numbers multiply all the time. And in terms of harvesting, we harvest once a year. Yes, we actually hire professionals uh, to come and harvest and we usually do one ton. Yes, then which we sell to the local markets and supply uh, to the people. And in terms of numbers, uh, we can say the numbers are above um, 2 million 
over 2 million. That's the number of fish we have. And when we are harvesting our fish, someone might need to know the sizes. So they range, we have some which are small, which we don't harvest, we leave them to reproduce. And the ones that are big ones, our um, weights range from 500 to 2 kgs. Within the livestock department, we have our cattle, which is commercial cattle. Uh, we have different types of breeds, your sentimental, your Brahmans, your Angola, uh, which we have here at the farm. Uh, we have around 2,000 in our head, and I've explained the breeds that we have. So during this time, we have rainfall and we have pastures. So our cattle will be in different paddocks where they'll be grazing, and we make sure we do good agronomic practices, which are your dipping, your vaccination, your dosing, which we make sure our dipping are done weekly, uh, depending with the season, uh, our dosing, we do that after every three to four months, and vaccination, uh, we do vaccinate against your lambskin, um, your three in one, um, which, which we do yearly. In terms of mortalities, like we look at the current situation in our country in Zimbabwe, most of the farmers have been going through uh, January disease, their cattle being affected by January disease and the mortalities have been so high. But here at Precap Farm, we are glad to say we don't have any issues or any problem with of January disease. We have no tick disease at all. And someone would want to know how do we do it. So every week when we take our cattle for dipping, we make sure we check, we do assessments to our cattle one by one to see if there is any that is showing any symptoms of being sick. We do the same to our goats and sheep. And if there is any that is sick, we immediately treat it and then we, we isolate it. We put it into its own paddock so that it does not affect any other cattle. And we also apply tigris every week, which makes which make sure our husbandry issues are very good. Someone would want to know how many calves we are doing per year and our percentage is it's, it's above 85%. So what we do at the beginning of each year, we, are, we do stock register count. So we figure out how many bulls do we have, how many um, cows do we have, how many heifers, calves, winners that we have. So we are actually able to tell how we performed the previous year based on the total number of winners that we have. And we rate that against um, the cows because the cows are the ones that give us calves. And then we also take the number of uh, um, our heifers, which some graduate within the same year, then that's how we rate and come up with our percentage. In terms of feed, we, we do pastures. Yes, currently we're actually growing pastures under irrigation. We make sure our cattle have got a balanced diet in terms of proteins, vitamins, iron, etc. And during the time when there are no pastures, we operate under zero grazing. Yes, all our, our cattle and goats will be in paddocks. We, we give them feed. We do men made feed. We, we make, we have our own formulations, uh, which we use, which we have been, we have, which we have taken for testing and they've been approved. And we, we make sure we give our cattle a balanced diet. We also uh, give them salt blocks. Yes, and we also make sure we have roughage and we, we put our hay bales uh, where we put molasses and some we put a bit of salt uh, to make sure it becomes tasty and palatable to our cattle. We make sure we give our cattle very clean water. We don't compromise on that because the moment you give dead water, it also has effects uh, on the health of our animals. So we make sure our, 
water troughs and even the feed troughs are clean. We clean them after every two weeks. We make sure they are clean. There's no outages, no any debt or anything else. And uh, we're quite happy that we've been doing our production very well. And probably my need to know in terms of uh, our future, where, where are we going? Definitely we need to plan. And also, so we'll be, uh, we have done training on artificial insemination and we, we are quite happy to say we have got one of the, we have got a lot of uh, the best breeds uh, you can think of and it's better to invest into something good and you know the outcome will be the best. So we actually buy breeds as far as America. Uh, we also do the local breeds like the Hard Mashona. Uh, we also have the Sentimental Bulls. Uh, we have the Brahman Bulls, the Buran Bulls, which are pure breed, which we we have our breed some which are pure and then some are mixed, are mixed, and we we are getting quite good cows out of that. Kilimu chetu, our farming. Kilimu chetu, our farming. The farm has since moved towards production, processing and marketing of their products. Tino slow down the Zeluku Abatu, Tina Abatu, dear Tinaya. And then he can just lodge a inozoya munom puchari. Yawaya munom puchari. And then he touched it and got with Tengesa. Satanga with Tengesa in opinam codro, codro medu. Yapinam codro medu, then to Satanga with Tengesa, to Stanga ku supplier. Community essay, at now at Nasa Rosa Baku, Tengesa Yamaedu, Tinopa, Munuese, and Oya at Danyam, Tinom Tengesa and Yamaedu, Yamaedu. It is special so good. Inyama ya gana ka singait. Inyama ya tino tanga chawongo rora. Chawona kuti ino itaere. Kuti iri recommend itaere. Kuti i tenge serwe wana. Because of their massive land utilization, as well as their adoption of smart agriculture, Pre-Cab Farm is now the province favorite for hosting field days so that other farmers in the province can learn from them. Farm manager Patrick Nangagwa says he has had to acquire knowledge and skills from other successful nearby farmers. At one point, he traveled to South Africa just to learn about smart agriculture so as to improve productivity levels at Pre-Cab. Upon researching, I noticed that Kune Kamban, South Africa, Kune farmers by comment positively about agri-copyholes. And the technology is you can operate them by laptop or by phone. You can do a lot of things on a phone, but you should operate them as center peoples. Lubanda Kumbira President, can I visit? I appreciate this technology. Then we are the Tengera ticket at the end of South Africa. And the accommodation for one week. I had to move around my farms, I had to move around my factory, no Gazir was on it. Then I came back, I went to the report, and I convinced him that let's invest in education. Fortunately, he has a passion in agriculture. We had no man to do that because it's Raida Maria Gawand. But through our bank, FBC Bank, we have got a loan, we have 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 a loan, it wasn't enough to know some people to us. But we have a loan, we have a loan. So, in 
terms of water application is very uniform. Chirogatas are crop uniform, meaning to say, if we put our fertilizers correctly, it's very uniform. Our seed population is very uniform. Everything, everything else is very uniform. Then we must have uniform water application, so that we have it now, and that's why we have uniform crop. And my uh, irrigation is only one two, on the seven hundred hectares. I'm telling you. To want to show to one go GT, post from when you punch as well, people would come out. You get better. I want to show it. As we used to say, we no money people. Yeah, I panic when I did it. I must bring up. It was a headache. And that way, the basara, you know, sick us in Gavad. When people were going to present, when I was in Minister, so when she came at two a.m., then she came. Monitor In the end of South Africa, I noticed the on a farm, maybe about 3,000 hectares. That's why she pushed a hectare, she pushed a hectare, but she pushed a hectare, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 hectares. And that's my dream now. I didn't know what it was. So, but the farm has been equipped with the five, 3,000 hectares, maybe 340 horsepower by two. In a self propelled boom spray, one. You know, that one trick, the 200 was power retail away. Hannah's was the one that she says, in English. Not only that, he has used my tractor head, like for instance, our tractors, and got a GPS. And a program. She wrote my bush boom spray, red, one. No spray, 300 hectares a day. So this farm to go to this, it's not a bit of spray, but there is no GPS. So my lens is a save on the computer box. So I'm not spray a moon. I'm not enter information in Munda way. I'm not a boom spray. I'm not going to remove the operator by the register. Then in my tractor foot, here I have a plan to have a GPS. That's why it's very uniform. So it, that's, that's on technology. We need to acquire that. It, it will simplify work. A passionate farmer who, despite his busy schedule, makes time to visit and assess progress at the farm. Most weekends, His Excellency, the President, is at his pre-cab farm. This farm is usually selected for field days so that other farmers can tap into knowledge and skills at the farm.